Hey guys, I am Shambhavi. I am a DevRel at TaxHub and I would like to welcome you to my onboarding journey with TaxHub. And if you're a video person like me, then this is for you. Follow along and learn how to create your first project with TaxHub and initialize it with a built-in remote storage. Let's get started. So the first step is to sign up for TaxHub and we recommend you to sign up with github account so then you can be redirected to a page and you'll be asked to select your daxa password which would be later helpful when you're trying to authenticate to your remote storage so let's get started and create our very first repository okay so just like the tradition follows, we're going to name it the Hello World project. We add a kit ignore template and it's as simple as clicking on the create repository button. So what's next? Now we need to have this project in our local computer so that we can initialize it with a remote storage. So let's clone it. I would like to clone it to my D directory and I prefer using an environment. So let's activate my NLP environment. Here we have it. Now it is time to git clone. Perfect. Let's change the directory to the hello world directory. We need to have a installed DVC. We need to pip install DVC. I have already done it, but I'm going to repeat it for you so that you can follow along the tutorial. And there we go. Now it is time to initialize the DVC with a simple DVC init command. After this, we have to follow four more commands and we'll be all set with our remote storage configured. Let's go back to the tutorial to check if we have been correctly following along. So we created our DAXWAP repository and if you followed along with me, then congratulations. We cloned it to our local, we installed DVC and we initialized DVC. Now it's time to follow these four set of command and finish our configuration. So you go back to your project and you click this DVC remote link to be copied so that you can add the origin. Perfect. The second command has to be copied as it is for authentication. There we go. And now we will need our DAGSUB username as well as the password. So my username is Shambhavi Quotes. Right. So while I enter my password, I request you guys to do the same and I will pause the recording for a minute. And we're all set. It's time to see the changes in our local repository. Okay, we have a lot of DVC files added. And now let us push them to DAGSUP. Okay, we're going to use git tracking to push these modified files. So the commands are simple and super familiar. We'll add all the DVC extension files as well as our git ignore. It's time to commit our additions with a message which says we have initialized the DVC and we do a simple git push. Let's see. Awesome. Do we have any changes? Yes, we do. So we've managed to successfully initialize the DVC to our DAGSUB repository. And yes, we have our very first DAGSA project. We have it on our local computer and we have configured the DVC and Git remotes. 
So follow along and you'll learn a lot more. Thank you.